Nepal has one kingdom. Okay, his name is Prithvi Narayan Saha. Prithvi Narayan Saha. Okay. So he is the one who built this 90 story palace. He is the one who built this 90 story palace. So you can see here figure. There are 13 figures of the kings. Each son, each son, each son, each son. Okay. It goes by son, son, son. Yeah, yeah. So around. 1768-80, before he starts conquering Nepal, he starts conquering Nepal into one kingdom. Actually, he went to one holy man. He went to one holy man who used to. He was the very, very powerful holy man. Okay, the Saha kings had the strong belief for that holy man. So he went to that holy man to ask the permission to conquer Nepal. His name was Goraknath. Goraknath Baba. His name was Goraknath Baba. Oh, okay. So once he went to that holy man, the holy man asked the king to bring the yogurt. 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 Okay. Mm. So the king obeyed the holy man. He bring the yogurt to the holy man. So once the holy man ate that yogurt, he drank all the yogurt that the king had brought it from him for him. So after drinking the yogurt, the holy man he asked the king to beg his hand. So the king begged his hand. The king begged his hand. Okay. The holy man, after the king begged his hand, he pitched in the king's hand. He pitched in the king's hand. But the king was very, very careful. He was very, very clever. Okay. He knows the intention of the holy man. Okay. So he let go the pitch. Pitch. He let go the pitch. So the little amount of the pitch was in his in the foot of the king. So by seeing that, that holy man was very, very angry with the king. He was very very angry with the king. So at that time what he said to the king is, if the king has taken all the pitch, all the pitch, then he should have get what he has desired. If this king has the desire of winning winning the whole world, 
that he should have get that own wall if he had taken the whole pitch. Since the only little amount of the pitch is in his foot, so he will be able to get those places in which he will be able to step on. Okay. Only after that, this team started his conquering, he started his journey to conquering, for conquering the Nepal. So around that time, the holy man also said that this Saha dynasty, this Saha dynasty will never go beyond the 13th king. It has been already been predicted. He is facing the east direction. East direction. These are the small steps. You see? He is facing the east direction. Means that's the outer steps. That's the west part. Always in the east part. This is the steps facing the east direction. Facing the east direction. Outer steps. These are also the small steps. These are also the small Main stupa known as Swayambu Nath Stupa. Swayambu Nath Stupa. Okay. Okay. So again here also like yesterday. Again here also like yesterday. The main part of stupa is the dome area. The white part. The white part. Dome area is the main, most pure part of the stupa. Nobody is allowed to put their foot in the dome area. So they said that beneath the dome area there is the relics or the remainings of Gautam Buddha himself. Above the dome area is again the four eye of Buddha seen in four directions, which tells the four noble truth of Buddhism. Yesterday also I tell you, I told you the four noble truth of Buddhism. Uh, can can anybody repeat that? Suffering. <laughs> suffering yeah. Cause of suffering. Yeah. yeah. To overcome the suffering. Overcome the suffering. Ways to overcome. Ways to overcome. So the first noble truth says that there is the suffering in the world. The second noble truth says that every human being has to go through that suffering. Every human being, every living being, living being has to go through that suffering. And the third noble truth says that there is the way to get rid of this. In the river, okay. uh, the boaters, okay. the boater, the, the boatmen will sing this song. Okay. Okay. So very popular sing, a very very popular song. So it goes like this.